Welcome back. And joining us this morning, Dr. Paul Harmon, who recently traveled to the Brazilian Amazon as part of his volunteer work with a doctor's heart. Good morning to you. Good morning. This is something so interesting and so special. You're a local eye doctor here, so people at home might, you know, recognize you from checking their eyes. They uh -huh. might not realize what you do on the side, traveling to the Brazilian Amazon. Explain a little bit about your mission here. Well, about uh, seven or eight years ago, a group of friends decided to help patients in, uh, in the Brazilian Amazon. And so we bring a team down once a year. And uh, at that time, we hold medical clinics and we do eye clinics and vacation Bible school programs. And also we bring down construction teams that build missionary homes, build school buildings. Uh, we've been able to put in about 30 deep water wells to help wow. the villages. So we're just trying to help that area that has uh, just very, very little access to medical care. Why is this something so important to you? Why is this something you want to have done now for eight years? Eight years. Well, um, it is a Christian-based organization, and we feel the, the call to go and, and help. When you're called, you go. This is something I can't even imagine. Obviously, you're stepping a little bit of outside of your comfort zone, but the reaction you have to have when you've been there for a couple of days and you're able to really help these people, and then when you can go back every year and see what you've done before and then build on it, what is that like for you? Well, that, that's a, a, a real blessing to us because we, we tend to go back into the same area. There's about five basic rivers in the area that we go to. And we, we get to see the same families and the same people, and uh, we get to see what our organization has been able to accomplish through uh, decreasing chronic disease and, and making people see and, uh, and just a lot of benefits that we, we hope we can impart. They're just more of your patients, right? You know, you're <laughs> right. kind of testing their eyes as well. This is something so many people wear glasses or contacts and it's just second nature and you can feel vulnerable when you can't find them, you know, when you're yeah. looking on your nightstand at the in the night. So when you're talking about people maybe who don't have access to that, like you have seen out there in the Brazilian Amazon, so this is kind of close to your heart, bringing them donated eyeglasses. How important is that? Well, a lot of people, they just stop functioning in society when they can't see. Mm -hmm. And when you're out you know, hundreds of mile in, miles into the jungles, um, you can't fish, you can't cook, you can't sew, you can't read. And so there, your life tends to change dramatically when you mm -hmm. start to lose your vision. And it can change to the point where you can't, you know, um, function in your society. And this is something where people here can really make a difference with something that they might toss into an old drawer, they mm -hmm. might throw it in the garbage. Right. So what are you looking for from the community to really help out your mission? Well, everyone that goes with us pays their own, own way. They pay their own flight and food and things. But we do, we do accept donations for all the materials we bring down. We bring down eyeglasses and we bring down, we've brought down about a million dollars worth of medicine wow. in the last eight years. And so patients or, or people donate to us so that we can buy those medicines and supplies. This is something so important for people who want to get involved and really help out your mission. What is the best mm -hmm. way they can contact you? Well, they can always get a, get a hold of us at our website, which is a doctorsheart.com. Um, you can contact us there, or there is a, a place to donate on that website. And also, I'm at the My Eye Doctor location on East Lafayette Street, and you're always welcome to stop by and, and say hello or, or donate at, at that time. It is as simple as that. I'm so glad we were able to share your story this morning. And, of course, all that information so you can take part is going to be on our website, WTXL.TV. Thank you so much for being here. We certainly appreciate everything you're doing for our community and well beyond. Thank you so much. Thank you. Stay with us. We're back in just two minutes.